Hey guys, how's it going? So today we are doing a food review at a restaurant which has a little bit of a nostalgia for myself and there's a little bit of a backstory. Um, and this restaurant is called Alunek. Uh, so as far back as I can remember, maybe I was like seven or eight years old, so we're talking like 35 years ago. Um, at that time I was living in Buckinghamshire and uh, our father used to bring us to London on the weekends to go and go to the cinema, go to the markets. I remember like going to Wemby Market all the time and so on and so forth. And uh, we, we used to go to quite a few uh, Persian restaurants um, on the weekend when our father used to bring us down. And on this one occasion, uh, my father said, okay guys, we're gonna go to this new restaurant um, in London that's opened up called Alunek. So anyway, we head down to London, we come towards uh, Olympia and I remember clearly we enter the car park of Olympia and I'm like, dad, this is a car park. There's no restaurant here. Um, and he's like, wait. Um, so we go into the car park. We go right to the end of this car park in Olympia, right behind uh, Olympia and in Kensington, by the way. And uh, we get to the end of this car park and we see two caravans and a few cars parked outside. And my dad just goes and parks up beside them. Um, and I'm like, dad, this is, what are you doing here? He's like, wait, this is it, this is the restaurant. And I'm like, what? This is a caravan, you know? Uh, anyway, we get out, we go in, and literally it was a caravan. It's like, I, don't, I can't remember, like three or four tables inside. There was a few cars outside, so it was pretty full actually, the restaurant. Um, so it was two caravans. One caravan was like the kitchen, and one was like the dining area. So anyway, we sat in and the food was amazing. Um, and I remember like literally every other weekend we used to come down to London and go to Alunek. And it, 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 it sort of went viral, but obviously in those days we didn't have social media. Um, so, you know, it just word of mouth, just blew. Everyone was getting, going down to Olu Nap because the food was just uh, unbelievable. Anyway, so that's like 30, 35, 40 years ago, let's say. Um, the last time I went to Olu Nap was about five, six years ago um, in the Bayswater, Queensway uh, location, just opposite Cairns. Um, and I always remember Olu Nap always being consistent in terms of quality. So I haven't been for like six years, so I've, I've got real no update in terms of you know, how well they are, whether they've kept their quality and standards and so on and so forth. So I went down to the West Kensington um, location and I'm gonna share my experience with you in this particular food review to see, let's see, is Arlonac still as it was before? How's the quality? What was our overall experience? As you know, guys, I don't, I don't tell bullshit, right? Even if someone wants to pay me, I will tell the truth um, so that you guys are not out of pocket. So a lot of food bloggers out there create these amazing reels and blah, blah, blah. And all they talk about is how great a restaurant is and it's the best in London. And it's like, we don't have any bad restaurants in London if you want to go buy food bloggers. My approach is very different. So I hope you enjoy my content. Um, today we're going to review Alunag. We're going to check it out right now. And let's see. How well are they? How good are they? So watch out for my review at the end um, of the video. So guys, this is the main dining area. So as you walk in, you've got the bar on the right and you've got a set of uh, tables and chairs all the way across. Uh, nice open space. I, I really like the look and feel. Uh, you, you know that you're in a Persian restaurant with all the little detail. Um, the art from, uh, from Iran. Um, and then you've got this back seating area, which is separate dining area. You've got a nice uh, skylight um, and the bar area. And overall, I really enjoyed the whole look and feel um, mm -hmm. of this restaurant. Uh, the usual suspects in terms of Iranian meza or starters. And yeah, it looks good. No, no surprises. I mean, traditional Persian starters we're probably going to go for this because this will give us a good idea about the quality of the uh, starters um, but yeah so let's order some starters and then let's check out the, the main course menu as well so we've got quite a few options here so different varieties in terms of the kebabs obviously persian food is heavily evolved around uh, what we call chula kebab or kebab restaurants that serve kebab we call them kebabis so yeah, some good options. We've also got some stews and they've got some daily dishes as well, which is on, on the next page. We're probably going to go for this. This again is going to give us a good idea about the quality of the uh, kebabs. And it's quite, quite good. I mean, it's five skewers with two portions of rice. It's pretty good. So you can't come to a Persian restaurant without fresh 
uh, bread which I make on the premises. And this is our starter platter with salad olivia, the potato salad, hummus, kashka badinjun, and mirza rasmi. So if you're an aubergine lover and you like hummus and potato salad, this is a good option. So overall, actually, the starters was pretty good. I was quite impressed overall with the quality and with bread, amazing. Then we got our main courses. So saffron rice, some grilled tomatoes, usual suspects, and our mixed grill. So we got kebab bag, the kubi there, and we got the juja on the bone and off the bone. Um, and overall, it was a pretty huge volume. And for two of us, it was a lot. And then the khoresh All right, guys, so time for feedback. So overall, right, so I had this sense of nostalgia when I came to Olunak because I remember this particular location, I came oof, 10, 15 years ago, I guess. And I remember in those days it was rammed, absolutely rammed, always busy. Um, so, you know, I sort of got goosebumps walking in because, you know, it was like the old memories. Um, so anyway, we sat down, I mean, in terms of um, setup and decor design, you know, pretty contemporary modern, I would say. But at the same time, still cozy. Um, and as soon as you walk in, you know you're in a Persian restaurant with all the detail. Um, so that was good. I like that. And it was clean. It was fresh. Um, and you felt at ease. You know, you know, like you walk into a restaurant, you, you, you get it within the first few seconds, whether you're somewhere good or bad. Anyway, we sat down. Uh, we checked out the menu. For me, the menu was way, way too much. I mean, I've got to be honest. It was way too much. Too many options. I was confused, even as a Persian. Um, and also, I didn't like the fact that it was plastic, laminated. It always gives us, you know, cafeteria type scenario. Uh, but anyway, we chose our food. So we had the mixed starter. To be honest, the mixed starter was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, real no qualms there. They made fresh uh, taftung bread right there in front of you. Um, so we, we had a, a good experience with the, the starters. When it came to the main course, again, we got the mixed kebab just to get an idea about the quality overall. We had a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of that. So we had the kubi there, the juju kebab, the chicken zafran, um, and also the kebab bag, which is like uh, filet pounded uh, lamb. So overall, it was it was okay. It was good, but it wasn't wow, right? I remember all in that being wow. Um, you know, it was just okay, to be honest. Um, I was a little bit deflated because I was like, my expectations were here and it was overall experience was there. Um, I, overall, guys, what can I say? It's not somewhere I can say that don't go because it's bad. No, it wasn't bad. It was just underwhelming. Um, and I always have this test. So if I'm at home and I'm with a group of friends and they say to me, guys, what should we do tonight? Where should we go? Would I say Alunek? Probably not. It's not when I'm at the places I was like, okay, right, yeah, guys, we have to go Alunak, which was disappointing because back in the day, it would have been Alunak. So overall, guys, it was so-so. Um, could have been a lot better. Um, I know they're changing the management there, uh, or the managers, not the management. The owners are still the same from you know, donkey's years. Um, but yeah, I just wish them the best. I hope that they focus on the elements that need improving. Because the overall experience wasn't wow, the, the rice was just okay, the kebabs were just okay, the starters were really good, um, but you know, I can't base my review just on starters, right? So overall, you've got my rating um, in the caption, give me your feedback, if you do go there and try it, or if you've been recently and tried it, let me know your, your feedback. But as always, we tell the truth, respect.